Hey, it's Jonathan. Thanks for uh, joining me today. I hope this video finds you in good fortune. Uh, today I'm going to try to answer in a few words as I possibly can what a blockchain is. I've The number one question that I'm usually asked is what is a blockchain? Uh, so I'm going to try to answer that today. Okay. F to start with, there's more than one blockchain. It's not just one blockchain. Uh, there's more than one blockchain. Uh, you hear me talking about Cardano all the time. Cardano is a blockchain. Okay, ADA is Cardano's native token. That's that's ADA is the Cardano token, ADA, right? You'll hear me talking about Sunday Swap. Sunday Swap is a project that's built on top of the Cardano ecosystem, right? Or, or built on top of the Cardano blockchain. It's part of Cardano's ecosystem. Okay, uh, PolySwap is built on top of Cardano's. Uh, Cardano blockchain, okay, Bondly, these projects, well, smart contracts can already come out, so me, uh, yeah, so me, you know, these, these projects, actually, they're switching over to Cardano, these are, these were made for Cardano, um, the smart contracts come out on Cardano a month from now, but these are projects that are going to be on the Cardano blockchain, and Cardano is the blockchain, ADA is the token of Cardano. Sunday Swap is going to have their own token. Uh, they're going to have, you know, they're going to have their own token. But ADA is the token of the Cardano blockchain. Okay. Ethereum. Ethereum is the blockchain. These are projects that are built on Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum has the ETH token. Uh, for instance, Uniswap. Uniswap has their token. Uniswap is built on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. Ethereum is a blockchain. Uniswap is a project built on top of the blockchain. Um, VChain. VChain is the blockchain. VET is the token. Well, VET and VTHO or VTHOR, however you want to say it. VTHO, VTHOR. They're, those are the native tokens to VET. VET is the blockchain. And then you have projects built on top of that. Or actually, these are more like users. But... Um, of the blockchain, but these are users of the blockchain, uh, you like BMW and Walmart. So VChain's a blockchain, these are its projects, the or users. Ethereum is the blockchain, these are projects built on top of Ethereum. Cardano is the blockchain, these are projects uh, native to Cardano. These are part of the Cardano ecosystem. Okay, now what is a blockchain? A blockchain basically is uh, a chain of files, okay? A blockchain is is a chain of files. It's one file that's like a linked list system. Right? If you're familiar with linked list, but it's a bunch of files that are hooked to each other. Okay, uh, so and and it records all the transactions all the way back to the from the beginning of the blockchain. Okay, so when somebody wants to make a transaction on a blockchain, it could be either of these blockchains. Somebody wants to make a transaction. You have a public key and you have a private key. Okay, the uh, private key there's a I don't want to say a code but there it's like your signature okay your private key signs okay say person A and person B want to make a, a contract well person A is the one transferring it the, the cryptocurrency so their private key would sign the transaction the public key checks to see if that signature came from the private key, so it would and and the and, it, and the signature changes every time. So it would be like if I um, if the, the public key would be like a handwriting expert, and the private key would be like my signature. So I would sign something, and they and it would the public key would look at it and say, "Oh gosh, well, you signed it a little bit different than you did last time, but that's your signature because." I'm a handwriting expert, so that's what happens. That's like that's that's the mechanism that happens. When that happens, a new block is formed and it's added to the end of the blockchain. Okay. The way that the uh, the way that this process uh, takes place is through a ledger system that's decentralized on the all the users of the blockchain. Everybody that is a user of the blockchain. So, if the transaction is taking uh, uh, place on the Cardano blockchain, then all the users of that blockchain, 
all the people, they call it staking. You have proof of work and you have proof of stake. Uh, the transactions would be processed by the computers that are participating in that blockchain. I'll go into proof of work and proof of stake. I'll do that in maybe my ledger video when I do the video about the wallet, the two different uh, ones. But uh, just for now, Bitcoin is a proof of work. Cardano is a proof of stake. Ethereum is a proof of work that's moving over to proof of stake. So, um, well, just a real high view, just real quick. Proof of stake. Staking is when you take the ADA coin, which is native to the Cardano blockchain, and you put it in a staking pool. You put it in a pool, and um, what happens is that um, that gives you um, it gives you right to uh, process new transactions on the blockchain. Okay, so for um, for the right to for the for the right to to stake it when you stake your currency it's basically like earning interest you earn the fee that would be re, you know that takes place when a transaction is made on the blockchain so when a transaction is made um, the ADA that you stake earns you the right to process that transaction and uh, then you make the transaction fee proof of work is the same pretty much the same way except um, it, what earns you the right to make the transa transaction is not holding the currency, but how much computing power you have. So Bitcoin is a proof of work. So basically, in, on Bitcoin, it's whoever has the biggest computer, it gets the it gets to process the transactions. Um, and Cardano, if you stake your currency, then that's what gives you a right to pro process the transactions. So, and, and and it goes into you know it's that's a real um, that's a real high overview of, of what's happening. But anyway, basically that's what's happening. If, if it's almost like earning interest on your money with Cardano, uh, with Bitcoin or Ethereum at this point, uh, Ethereum switching over to proof of stake. It's whoever has the biggest computer is the one that wins. Now there's a lot of people participating in the network. So, um, and which comes to this part, uh, so we have the network, right? So it's decentralized. It's the computers, that, they're the ones uh, doing all the work. There's no body making transactions or decisions. This does away, this ledger system does away with the bank. So let's say for instance, um, let's say for instance that I put a false file on the end of the chain. So I write a, I write a, this is what makes it secure. So I write a, I write a uh, false transaction and I hook it to the chain, right? Okay, well I might have it, it might, I might get it to stay for a period of time, right? But unless I control 50% of the network, my computers would have to make all the next blocks all the way out, right? I would have to make every block after that false transaction. I would have to be the one that created it because I'd have to be in consensus with myself. That's the only way that I could continue on down the blockchain because see every chain every block it's a chain. Every block new block that's created is connected to the block before it and that's connected to the block before it, and that's connected to the block before it, right? So I would have to create all the new blocks um to I'd have to have a big enough computer to create all the new blocks to uh, pass the fraud, right? Basically, to take over, to hack the network. I'd have to be able to create all the blocks. and But I would be competing against all the other people participating in the network. So, um, basically, what it is, is, I mean, kind of like, you're getting paid to produce the new blocks, right? Because you're making that transaction fee. And uh, so you're, you're being paid to produce the new blocks, so it's almost like a greed-based system. Um, everybody wants to have the biggest computer so that they can produce the next block, but then they have to compete against not only the person next to them's computer, but everybody else's computer. So that's that's the proof of work system. The proof of stake system is a little bit different. It's just it's put in pools, and they've made it so that um, if you have a bunch of money, you can't create one big pool because then you just don't get any returns on it. Um, they're kind of they're, the pools are broke up. There's a cap. You have uh, diminishing returns on the pools. So um, on a proof of work 
uh, I mean, a proof of stake mechanism like Cardano, um, you basically you you can you get to create the blocks just by staking the, your money or putting the money uh, in a staking pool. But uh, if you have a whole, whole lot of ADA, you know, you'd have to have a stream amount to be able to take over the network and a whole lot of uh, staking pools, just like the computer. So it's I mean, both of them are secure. I'm not I'm not saying anything bad about one or the other. Both of them are good mechanisms, right? So anyway, uh, so after the uh, so after the transaction is uh, is complete, if the transaction is bad, it what it does is it end up creating two chains. It'll only be one chain on the one computer that was taken over, right? And but if it doesn't, uh, if it, there's not a consensus among the network, then the bad file would be uh, thrown away basically, and the next chain would continue on being made. So anyway, so after that. The transaction is made. You have consensus among all the computers that are operating on the network. This basically does away with the bank. That's why this is uh, such a big deal. Is this does this completely does away with the bank? What you have is you have computers either breaking codes or you have uh, computers that are verifying stuff. It's just verified across everybody's computer um, what transactions are valid, what transactions are not, and um, you don't need a, a person to sign off on it. You don't need uh, people that you trust at the bank to sign off on it. This does. This is a trustless system. Um, this is it's completely decentralized because it's spread out among everybody's computer and it's comp completely trustless. There's You don't have to trust anything because it's a consensus mechanism. So anyway, I hope I explained that well. If you have any questions, if I left something out that, that, uh, that I should have added in, uh, please get, shoot me a message. And um, so this is uh, this might just be the first run on attempting to make a video on this topic, but uh, I did want to make it. So I hope you got something out of it. Anyway, give me a like, a subscribe. If you can watch a video all the way through, that always helps out the algorithm. Uh, share any of that kind of stuff would be great. And uh, y'all are beautiful. I'll see you next time.